Tohoku isn't on every traveler's radar when planning a trip to Japan. In fact, only 2% of the travelers to Japan visit this region. It's a large region in the northern part of Japan's main island, and there is so much stunning natural beauty and rich history to be found here. Last summer, I traveled to Iwate Prefecture in the Tohoku region with my best friends. Our first stop was the Koiwai Farm. Situated at the foot of the beautiful Mount Iwate, Koiwai Farm is an eco friendly farm that dates back to 1891. The location of the farm used to be in the wilderness where nothing would grow. One day, the National Railways officer Inoue Masaru came here and felt solely about the loss of nature due to many years of railway construction. So he started the dream of building a big farm here as a way of giving back. A few years later, Koiwai Farm started with one single tree planted into the deserted land. Today, it has become Japan's largest private production farm, and it's especially famous for its daily products. You can explore the farm to enjoy nature walks and see farm animals like cows, sheep, and rabbits. There are also plenty of activities like horseback riding, butter making, and even archery, so it's fun for all ages. Today, most of us won't get the opportunity to walk on the farm, but visiting one would be the next best thing. And the way you connect with your food will change for the better. Gebike is a hidden treasure in Iwate Prefecture. It's a wonderful gorge, only accessible by small boats. It's about 2 km long, carved out by the Satetsu River, with 100 meter cliffs towering above the stream. You can enjoy a calm 90 minute ride on the boat up and down the river, navigated by a boatman with a pole. I recommend getting special snacks and feeding the carps from the boat. We had a great time admiring the rock formations and feeding fish, but there were cute ducks following us all the way and eating all of the fish food. It's such a great way to enjoy being in nature, listening to birds and feeling the breeze. And the deep gorge is just beautiful. It's like a scene out of a painting. You can get out of the boat at the turning point for a walk along the gorge and try your luck by throwing lucky stones over the river and hopefully into a hole in order to make a wish come true. There is nothing quite like traveling with your best friends. <laughs> traveling is great and I love solo travel. But what makes traveling even better is when you can share awesome experiences with your besties. Some things may not go as planned, but that will be part of the story and you will have more inside jokes with your best friends.
On the return journey, you are treated to a fantastic traditional song by your boatman. It's such a memorable part of our trip. We fell in love with Iwate Prefecture. It's a great place to enjoy the way you connect with nature. Plus, they've got amazing hot springs and delicious local cuisine. We all enjoyed. When I look back on my travels, what comes to mind is enjoying my company, learning about local culture, and the conversations I had with local people. If that's what I treasure for years to come, then it's not important to check off of my long bucket list. A story that we can look back on is a lot simpler than we think. <laughs>